several months, I've been able to avoid the humiliation of putting my scrapular impotence on full display. But when she asked me to play last night after dinner, her breathtaking beauty, illuminated only by the twinkle lights on our Christmas tree and the flickering glow of our fireplace, led me to fail my save versus charm. <laughs> so I went directly to our game closet. I looked past games that would be fun for me to play, like Battle War, Carcassonne, Guillotine, the awful green things from outer space. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Enslaved by her spell, I pulled Scrabble off the shelf and took it to the living room. Our dogs curled up on the floor next to us as we began to play. We reached into the bag. I drew an X. <laughs> she drew an E. Okay. It was an unnecessary harbinger of things. Okay. <laughs> she went first and instantly took a 20 point lead. I scored seven. <laughs> Much better than usual. <laughs> Four or five turns later, she played sexy for a triple word score. And I never caught up. It was a blowout. It was Custer, the little big horn. Varro, economy. The Broncos, at Super Bowl 24. <laughs> I know. <laughs> with about 20 tiles remaining in the bag, I saw a chance to miraculously draw within 40 points. I looked at my tray. I had Q-I-E-E-B. After I played an ineffectual two letters for a humiliating three points. <laughs> if I drew a T, N, or R, I could place the Q on a triple word score. Build off the U in fugue and make quiet queer or cold. I drew the T and I held my breath. For Murphy's Law of Scrap <laughs> states that with 85 potential places to play, your opponent will always play in the one place that leaves you completely fucked. <laughs> Anne put down two tiles, building off the F and fugue, and blocking me. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I said. It's a bundle of sticks, she said. I know what it is! <laughs> It's really not about winning or losing. 
It's about enjoying the time that you spend playing the game. This is why Anne puts up with my boxing. <laughs> I come back for more than when she fixes me. 